Good evening and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for November the 23rd, 2021. I am Mom and I'm all by myself. I am Eric Carmen, clearly. But that's alright. I'm good with being solo. Hi, welcome to two days before Thanksgiving. So that would be Thanksgiving Eve Eve. Eve of Thanksgiving Eve. And uh, don't know about you guys, I'm getting ready to head back up to Chicago to do Turkey on Thursday, but our offices are kind of on the, eh, if you need to go home a little early, go home a little early, just make it up. So hopefully I will get to Chicago ahead of the traffic, though. I don't know that that's a real thing for Chicago. I think it's always traffic all the time. Let me jump Hello. onto it. Too. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. You're okay? I'm tired. Aww. Are you streaming? No, I, I'm just... Just... I'm... Chilling? Not in the... Well, not in the mood, and part of me is not really feeling well today. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you sick? Got a cold? Just tired? Yeah. <laughs> okay, one of those. those. It's one of those in there. All of them. One of those it's is the correct one. It's seasons. Pardon? It's a change in seasons. Ah, oh, yeah. I, I've been there, done that. So I I have no idea if anybody's around tonight, if it's just me talking out there, you and me talking out there. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's a lot of people playing the game tonight. I see Mark's there, Sov's there, Jason's there, but I suspect that, um, I don't know about you, but work with, today was, other than one small miscalculation by two of the engineers resulting in a scramble to get something done by tomorrow. Um, other I, than that, it's been really quiet. I was off today and yesterday, mm. but I, cut, I I left home work early on Saturday because I wasn't feeling well. Wow. I called it on Sunday. And I just, wow, you really aren't feeling good. I slept all day Man. on Sunday. Yeah, about three weeks ago, I... Um, felt lousy over the weekend by Monday I was feeling real really really icky so I just snoozed all day and then woke up on Tuesday and still wasn't feeling good so I snoozed a lot of Tuesday didn't even play a lot of Star Trek even though I was uh, at home and I figured I could you know get over there and play a little bit nope just sleep just sleep part of me didn't even want to like I wanted to Play today, but it's like, like, yeah, do I? I just want to. Yeah, I do the nope. bare minimum nope. necessary to get through it on days when I don't feel good. Like, just do the event, whatever the event may be, and occasionally just do the daily. And I can live without the daily unless I'm really desperate. I did all my dailies today. So. I did my dailies today. But I missed missed I, one I haven't yesterday. Done five Tholian ships yet. Um, well, that's not really difficult. I mean, it's Archer. Yeah, I Actually, I, I take it back. Yeah, I, 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 archer. I forget about our Archer. <laughs> I, have one more, I have one more Iconian TFO on the other account, so I thought we could either do Grethor or Bug Hunt, or if people show up, Brotherhood of the Sword. And if it's just me by myself later today, well, I guess I will do um, one more Bug Hunt. I've already done two. One with Ed, one with a bunch of strangers. But, you know, just wanted to see who's out there well, today. Right now, I'm currently trying to find a ship that one of my characters has, and I don't know which one has it. Oh, that's challenging. Which ship is it? The Crossfield. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, obviously, it's... That's and I know question. I have it. <laughs> you know, I was thinking it was one of my Discovery characters, and so far it's not. You didn't dry dock it, did you? Because then he had to go into... I, my dry docks. I checked my dry docks too. Okay. So. I was going to say that's but, my usual thing is I forget things in my dry dock. I, I can't remember which character it is. <laughs> I went through some of my ships and I found an Undine Nikor bio warship, the T5U. I really like this ship, so I'm thinking maybe I should buy myself an Undine ship as a T6. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that I may have evidently sold it by stupidity. No, if you you used it though, right? I can't remember. That's the oh. thing. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, and if you I used it, you can't sell it. But yeah, if I use it, I can't sell it. But I can't remember if I used it. I can't remember which character I used it on. Oh, God. 
because I have all these freaking characters. <laughs> well, I don't remember. No, if you remember last year at uh, the end of the year, Kel did a show and he invited a couple of um, players on, and I was one of them. But the two guys ahead of me was a guy who did everything on spreadsheets throughout the game. So he had everything on these big master spreadsheets, so he'd know which character had what ships how advanced they were, what bridge officers they had, what equipment they had, and it was just amazing. And I would think, you need that to go, okay, Crossfield, you know, just do your little search, have some fun with it. Easier to find things. Easy. Yes. <laughs> well, like my like my old main character, the one that I usually, when I first created, mm-hmm. he has like over, I think over a hundred ships. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, well, there is your problem right dry there. Dry. That's not in dry dock either. <laughs> um, you know what? Though, hold on. No, that won't work because once you've got it on the account, <sighs> shoot. That's... Yeah, and you can't. Yeah, I wish you could reclaim stuff from lockboxes. Yeah. No. I got it from a lockbox. Right, randomly. right. I don't know yeah, how. No. Well, you opened it with a key and you lucked out and yeah. got it? <laughs> I'm not that lucky at getting uh, tier sixes. I thought that the uh, Crossfield only came off of an R&D box, or am I incorrect about that? No, it, was it off came of out of a lockbox. Wow, okay. Yeah. Amazing. It's the new, it's, it, okay, it's the, the old Crossfield came out of the lockbox. The new one came out of the uh, out of the uh, uh, R and D thing. Okay. Because they had two of them. They did have two of them. Okay, I'm thinking of the more recent one, obviously. Yeah. I swear the temporal battle cruiser kind of looks like the uh, discovery of it. Did you see the <laughs> uh, muds announcement, muds market thing that they're doing? Yeah, um, uh, I didn't read it. I just saw it. <laughs> yeah, a couple of really nice packages. Expensive up the rear end. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oops, didn't mean to get mean to get two of those. That was a bad mistake. So, have you done your operation repost yet? Yes, I did. I did okay. it yesterday. Yeah, I was busy yesterday I've with never work. Done that one before. Pardon? I've actually never done that one before. Really? That, that was like an... the first time, and I'm like, okay, I hope I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Um, I didn't I... do it online. I did. I didn't stream or anything because I was just miserable yesterday. Day before, I'm still kind of miserable. A gaming stuka says, "I have been tempted to build a captain for every ship I own." Yeah, yeah. I I thought about doing things like that and having a dedicated ship for every captain, but that's a lot of captains. And yeah. I've got enough stuff to try and figure out as it is. And then it's like, okay, I'll get a really nice ship. Like I've got the La Serena. I've never opened it. I know who needs it. But it, it's one of those, it really shouldn't go to that tune. It should go to this tune because she's been with me longer, but she's already got a dedicated lobby ship. And I anthropomorphize my tunes way too much. I just realized who may have it on my cap on one of my characters. Well, go look. I just can't remember her name. What's her name? It, it's it, it, it's an alien. It's an alien. It's not that. It. I think I found her. All right. I think because <laughs> I remember because I uh, she was going to be my discovery character before discovery came out, but. <laughs> Uh, Mar Hawkman says, I'd be way more enthusiastic about getting using locks box stuff if it wasn't a single character. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you're going to open it up, make it bound to account, not bound to character. It's yeah. a little too heartbreaking. I found it. Yay! <laughs> the character. I was like, like the, one dressed, the one dressed in the disco outfit, but that's but it's not a disco captain. And it's in my dry dock, of course. Well, at least I got that part right. Let's see, yeah. have I done this one? I've done that one. I have the Gladius. All right. Yeah, uh, Ed and I were talking about it this morning, Mar Hawkman. I've got 
a lot of coupons, which I should open up and get chips, but I cannot pull the trigger. It's just like, <gasps> what if I pick the wrong person for the wrong ship, or I don't like the ship, or I should have gotten this, that, or the other. So I'm still sitting on prizes from months ago, years ago now probably, that I've never opened up. And I have all of these uh, Endeavor prize packs that I've never used. I keep meaning to give them to one of my tunes, who hasn't grown up there yet. Well, if you're going to do a yeah. TOS captain, I mean, you can go absolutely canon with uh, a enterprise type ship. You could do a traditional bird of prey. Um, you could have some fun with it, but are you going to go canon? I mean, C A N O N? Okay, yeah, absolutely. I try being thematic, but then there's people who are just ever so much more clever than I am at doing this stuff and smarter. So I just go off and yeah, play it my way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm I, not that smart when it comes to the stuff. I knew um, original series as a series incredibly well, but not the ships, not the equipment. And with there being people out there who are just that much smarter and more alert than I am, I'm not going to try and be as good as they are. That's not sour grapes. They're just better at that. There's some things I'm going to be better at them. Better than them at doing, but that's not some of it. You know, all this stuff that you can't upgrade that's like Mark 10. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> stuff out of, um, I want to say Mark 10 stuff's out of uh, Defura or Defura. It's Mark 10, yeah. which was the top of the mark at that time. This is the stuff you get from your ships that you can't upgrade that you get. Oh, like, yeah. That comes with the ship. Yeah. It's like, What's the point of putting it on there if you can't upgrade it? <laughs> well, yeah, it's great up until it's, what, you're about level 40. And then you go up to level 45 and you got to start looking at 12s and higher. I didn't realize my uh, crossfield ship was called the USS Partridge. <laughs> surprised it wasn't called the USS Brady Bunch. <laughs> well, you can rename it. Yeah, I am. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Mark Hawkman points oh, out that Mark 10 green and blue can be re-engineered, but not upgraded. See, this is the spearhead, not the cross shield. Oh, okay. I like the spearhead. It's the same, it's the same thing, pretty much. Yeah, it's similar, yeah. yeah. Close enough where it isn't a difference. Well, it's nice to see you folks are in the game tonight. It seems that everything's super quiet. I'm wondering how many people are taking out one day early to start out for Thanksgiving. We had quite a few people drift out, work from home for half the day, and then just skadoodle at noon because they're traveling around the country or driving to see family. And after last year, a lot of people did not do uh, Thanksgiving, so I expect a lot of people will be this year. Yay, Thanksgiving. I'm going to work. I've worked many a Thanksgiving. Um, I'm happy to work it. I mean, I can't. I'd help out everybody at work if I can, but I don't know what they're doing. Hi there, Mar Hawkman. But when we were at the hospital, I always volunteered to work on Thanksgiving because it was unlikely that a doctor was going to be working and want to call us in to do our stuff because if we were there, he or she had to be there and they would be not anxious. But it looked really good because then all my nurses got to take the evening off and not have to worry about getting called in. Yeah, work Thanksgiving no matter what. I don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, we just shut down now. Uh, Mar Hawkman, is that a Borg Romulan? <clears throat> well, I'm 
going to do a little Operation Repose. Let's see, yeah, I used to be Liberated Borg is the explanation of why she's around 200 years old. Okay, I can go with that one. Uh, darn Alachi are in here again. Ugh. Who? The Alachi, you know, the two Alachi that follow you around. Uh, yeah, they, they, those things annoy me now. Well, I try not to have them around me. Would anyone like to join me for a little Operation Repost um, Federation style? I think we'll go Federation. I'll grab a tune that's... Oh, hold on. i got to do it on two accounts here. I can go either way, Mar Hawkman. On this account, I've got a good Klingon and I've got a tolerable Federation. I needed... Mar Hawkman, I needed to write a character who was very old. Very old for one of my stories. And... I got my research done well as to why she hadn't died yet, but it wasn't because of Borg. But that would have been a good storyline. That would have worked very well. Crossfield Science Gearhead Refit is going for 1.5 million. Ooh! 1.5 billion, sorry, 1.5 billion on the exchange. Let's see. DT says he's off tonight, I believe. Nope, that's yesterday. So I don't know if he'll be joining us tonight or if he's working. I guess we'll find out. I don't have 1.5 billion. Okay, we're going to try it here with my uh, Undine T5 view, so let's see if this happens. Would you like to join us, Borg King? Not right now. Okay, no worries. I have to do it again on my other account, too. Weeboo? Quick check here for except the wee woo. Yeah, we should be good to go. Oh, this one. Okay. So what have we got with us? We've got Mar Hawkman, we've got Mr. Coffee, we've got Viper 1000, who I haven't seen for a while, and we have Jeff Scarface. All right. So a lot of people I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Sorry. There we go. I was just clicking through things and I accidentally ignored somebody. <laughs> Mom, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't add somebody to a mission the other night. And it says that um, they were ignoring me. Well, it turns out I had put them on ignore when I was trying to add them as a friend. Just kind of screwed up that way. It, it was not a good moment. We don't have much time. Drop the facility shield. Board them. Got a weird text from a hotmail person. <laughs> oh, somebody you know? No. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> yeah, I had a fun afternoon working on cybersecurity issues because we had a really interesting attempt at uh, embezzlement. I think that would be the correct word. They got hold of the information for one of our employees through LinkedIn. And they were able to figure out enough about our company to send a notice to the controller to change the person's checking account to a new number. And fortunately, our controller has been busy, busy, busy. So she finally apologized to the person and said she'd get the change made. And the person said, what change? So... Oh, wow. So, yeah, I was scrambling today to figure out, okay, we need some systems in place to change that up. We need to do this. You know, what's our pro process? What's our new protocol? 
That was my fun day of not paying attention to emails coming in, unless I was extremely suspicious about them. Research, fleet research is in uh, Delta Water, right? I believe it is, yeah. Okay. Not a great tune in terms of builds. And she's dead. Dead. It's worse than that, she's dead. Yesterday I had uh, some pretty good, easy uh, 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 endeavors. Yeah? I had, but the, the easy one was destroy five Undine ships. That's not too bad. Not Undine too battle bad. Zone. The, the second one was destroy, like, 20 Zen Kathy ships in the battle zone. Not too bad. And then the bottom one was defeat 30 Undine ships in the battle zone. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, that worked out great. Yeah, two birds with one stone. <laughs> really? I love that. I had Bug I'm Hunt I'm and. I'm still waiting for the, the, the Endeavor list where it says I got the same thing for everything. <laughs> I've, never, I've never had that. But I had a good one today where I had. Um, Iconian mission, and then two ground damage, so I had like Polaron and Phaser. So, you know, grab a cyclic weapon, go down, start bug hunt, get the damage on one, switch over, get the damage on the other, finish up the bug hunt, and we were done. I accept I had to do Or do a more. mission and have your, uh, have half your team do one and half your other team do the other thing. Yeah, I, I've done that. Sometimes it's a little bit more challenging. Yeah. Because... because it, they do whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard to get my team down there, so the ones I use for having to do damage on the ground of two types will be like um, not, uh, of signs and portents when you have to defeat all the Zinkethi on the ground. Mar Hawkman, what are your thoughts on the Undine ship? This is a T5U I had, and I had never played with it, and I kind of like it. Obviously, it's not a great build, but that's got nothing to do with the ship. That's the, I threw everything on here. And to you too, gaming. What are your thoughts on the uh, Zindi ships? I think I've played the Zindi ships. Yeah, I, this is one I got, and it's no longer available as a T5, so I'm going to hang on to it. Hey, what is it? It's a T5 Zindi... Do, 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 do. Undine, sorry, not uh, Zindi, uh, the Undine Nikor Bio Warship. I do have the Zindi one, too, that I found. Ooh. But it's kind of nice. I'm saying Zindi, I mean Undine. Ugh. Wait, I was doing Zindi that this morning. Undine? undine. It's an Undine ship. Undine. Okay. Ed and I have been running through ships in the mornings. All right, I am not doing ground, or uh, I'm not doing the torpedoes from the ground. I just am not fast enough, and it's not a good enough ship for it. I just had a brain fart, and I forgot what I was doing. Uh, Going to the research fleet that's, thing. That's my life this week. I have noticed this all over. Don't forget to take the homemade turkey stock home to make soup. So what will I forget? The homemade turkey stock. I'm going to have to pin notes to the door. I'm now looking for work on Thursday. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would imagine. And I work in a restaurant. I know. I'm thinking you we guys have, are going to get... I'm doing, we have two... Re I'm working two restaurants at once. One oh. restaurant's going to do, do their normal thing because they're, uh, uh, they're Italian because they're just going to do pizzas and all their other stuff. Okay. And the other restaurant is going to do a buffet-style Thanksgiving dinner for people. Wow. Oh, man, that's rough. Have they done that before? They do it every year. Okay. Year. But th this is the first time where they've done it with two restaurants open. Wow. I assume they're connected somehow? Yes. Okay. The dish pit it meets in the middle. Ah. Uh. Well, at least you won't be bored. want to be bored. 
I don't want to work too hard. <laughs> I will say on the days when I'm working super hard, like today was, or yesterday I was working on um, a paper on cannabis plants. And I glanced up and it was already 3.30 and people were heading out and it's just like, the day just disappears sometimes when you really get into it. I need a hundred and fifty. I need a hundred thousand dilithium. Hundred thousand dilithium. Wow. To get a one plus one starship traits. Oh, those yeah. I only yeah. And you want the funny part is? Hmm. I have ninety one thousand still unrefined. Of course. And I have twenty nine thousand refined. Yeah. Is it a pay to play account or free to play account rather? No, I bought the lifetime thing. Okay, so it auto refines then. Yeah. I suppose I could spend the rest of my Zen. And <laughs> no, 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 no. You'll have to save for it. You can't just spend your money. I am gonna. Say, I, I spend my money each page the paycheck. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Wanted to do some holiday shopping, and then I realized I have to pay the rent instead, so. Decisions. I'm gonna cheat somehow. Well, Don't cheat. Yeah. I did. Oh. You got I'm disappointed. 63,000 from, from a Zen. 63,000 dilithium from Zen is still not enough. I need 7,000 more dilithium. Um, if you got it on one of your other accounts, you can shuffle it over to that one. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. If it's on the same count from tune to How tune. How do I do that? Ah, How do I do that? Okay, basically you're going to put an offer in to um, buy Zen for your dilithium. Then you go to the other account and cancel the sale and you can then recollect the dilithium on that account. Really? Yeah. You didn't know that. No. You totally can. It is perfectly legal. Yeah, but my problem is I'd probably go to the other account and someone would buy it. Well, always put uh, it at a price where you'd be better off if they bought it. In other like words, what? make... Well, obviously, if you put it, what's the max right now? 500? With 500, it's still taking a week to get some of the sales in. Well, I don't think the, the, the buy Zen is working really too well. Well, it's because there's no Zen to be bought. Oh. People are not selling Zen very often right now. Yeah, <laughs> they're... <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, they are. I sold mine for dilithium. How long did it take? Oh, hold on. you sold your Zen for dilithium, right? That means people yeah. want the Zen. You were yeah. the exception. So let's say you put your dilithium up there, and you want to buy Zen for four ninety five. Well, everybody wants to buy it for four ninety five, right? Right. So what's the worst that happens? You put your dilithium up there, and you actually get the Zen. You can turn right around and sell it back at 500, and you wind up slightly ahead then. But the odds are it's not going to happen in the two to three minutes. It'll take you to switch from one tune to the other. I'll just wait, because in a few hours I can um, uh, refine <laughs> more ore. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, I will do it here so you can see it if you're watching once we're done. No. I'll wait. Okay. No, because uh, I think in a few hours I'll be able to refine my Zen. Actually, it should be in half an hour. I believe it's a half an hour. If it's... N hold it. Um, when did you refine your Zen last? Yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday night, last night. I can't remember if it's 8 p.m. my time or 7 p.m. my time. Well, I haven't been able to... I, wasn't able to refine it now, so okay. cause it would be 7 p.m. your right. So give it another half hour. Yeah. Good evening, swear. How are you doing tonight? I do have a weird mission I'm trying to work on today. Which one? 
Which mission? Twelve uh, spore canisters. I'm trying to get twelve spore canisters. Wow. That's that... my mission tonight. Okay. Well, let's see. You can trade in some of your marks for some spore canisters. Yeah, I already did that today. Okay. Um, what else gets you spore canisters? The, uh, this uh, TFO, the Discovery TFO is on Elite. Okay. Which ones? It, you should get one on uh, Advanced and two on Elite, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. But it's... Uh, I think it's the... Uh, I'd go look, except I'm busy trying to shoot things. Badly. Yeah, I'm looking up right now. I'm looking up right now. Mm -hmm. Fleet's defense of Starbase 1. Ooh, perfect. Avo. We can run that one on Elite. Uh, Avo Dissension. Excellent. Carol over Avo and Operation Riposte. Well, that's the one that's the Universal. So there you go for one yeah. of them. Yeah, See I already did the Universal, but I, did. I didn't know it was uh, Discovery until I finished it. <laughs> it's got, and what's his it name in it? Character. It's got Lorca in it. How could you not know? Because I didn't, I didn't know it was. Well, we can definitely do Defensive Starbase 1. We can do that one on Elite, too, if we just get a couple okay. more people into it. of course out of requ the requisition packs but that's like random yeah they used to give them out a little bit more than they do now it was like one in six one in seven now it's closer to one in twelve or maybe i've just had a bad run an upgrade weekend this weekend? Is that you why know, they did the Phoenix boxes? I wasn't paying attention. Let's uh, see. says I need to start preparing for, up? No, for the upgrade weekend. Nothing coming up this weekend. Okay. That's good because it would be another weekend of, ugh, I have things to do and I can't play the game. Second weekend, okay. Let's see. Ooh, a dreadnought. Doom, doom, doom. All vessels, disable that dreadnought. We need to take our captain alive. And today was the last day for the uh, Phoenix box. Yes, it was. Right? This morning. The lights are super pretty. I didn't need to see anything again.
Yay! Operation Repost is done. And let's see if I picked up a, a spore canister with that one. Yeah, I got a spore canister with that one, so we can run that again. But if we're going to do that, let me grab a better tune so we can do some stuff for you. Yeah, because I'm working on getting the um, the Tilly set from the Discovery stuff. Nice. For this character. Good choice. Well, that one's done now. I'm going to switch over to the other account. Let's see, who can be the most helped getting this done? Oh, yes, obviously Katza. Well, I think, swear, if we can find out when the upgrade weekend is coming, which would be very good, I will try and make that a weekend when I'm going to be here. <coughs> nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Merhawkman says, a car seems to have difficulty telling the difference between Romulans and Vulcans. So I lit his ship on fire with plasma torpedoes. You were going to do that no matter what, Merhawkman. Let's be honest. You're just going to have some fun there. Ooh, I guess I need to go settle in on uh, Saul for a moment here. What is close there? No, I can't do that one right now. All right, what mission takes me, lets me transwarp closer to Earth? The transwarp button? Yeah, I'm on a six minute cooldown. Oh, um. I'm trying to remember which missions will take me there. Oh, the, um, the one with the Andorian one for, uh, uh, Beneath the Skin. Beneath the Skin, okay. That's out of. You great Andoria. Same sector. Close enough. Hold on. Beneath the skin's the TFO, isn't it? Nope, no, it beneath is. the skin's the mission there where... It is. Okay. I guess we're close. that's the one where you get the, uh, the bridge off there. Yeah, Mar Hawkman Midnight's got the transwarp. Did they fix it yet? I don't think they fixed it. I don't think they will until tomorrow. Hold, did, was there a patch this morning? No. I so there's not, not going to be a patch until bleh, next week then. Because there obviously won't be one on Thursday. Maybe they'll do one tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> they don't do a lot of Wednesdays. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, um, it's still My great out here. Right this week. That's okay. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. <laughs> You got the t-shirt? I, I never got, got one. <laughs> I, yeah. I told you what happened when we were wearing our Gorn Hawaiian shirts at uh, the convention this year. I think uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we went to see J.G. Hertzler, and he was looking at my shirt and finally realized it was Gorns and Hula Girls, and he's like, where'd you get that? And I told him, he's like, can I have it? No. I mean, there's that part of me going, yeah, that'd be great. And then there's a part of me going, I'll never get another one of these. So. I told you about my elevator experience with JJ, right? JJ. No, I don't think you did. Was, uh, it, it was funny. It's funny. I was, uh, I was in the elevator and I was with a bunch of other Trekkies. This is at the convention. And the door closes and they go, deck 11, crew quarters. And all of a sudden, I heard JG laugh in the background. <laughs> he goes, I like it. <laughs> he seems to be a very nice person. So I think the last day of the convention three years ago, DT and I went to get a coffee first thing in the morning before the convention starts. And 
so it's Sunday morning. We are completely burned out. Everybody's completely burned out. We're, <laughs> it's seven in the morning. We're sitting in Starbucks. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Not saying anything, just drinking our coffee. And Jay, G, and his wife are sitting there just drinking the coffee, not saying anything. <laughs> that would have been the day after the Klingon karaoke. I can imagine he might have been feeling no pain the night before, but he would be at that point. The things we get to do when we go to conventions. It's so awesome. Nicole DeBoer was standing behind me at a Starbucks one morning. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, I, you... I, I, I just chatted her up like she was a normal person. Yep. Like, uh, how, how are you doing? Is your coffee? Tem- how, uh, is it? I wasn't asking if she was having a convention because I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, having fun at a convention isn't always the thing. It's surviving the conventions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're fun. They really are fun, but yeah, they, 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 five for days. Stuff, and for them, it's got to be exhausting because that's what they do these days. Every day. <laughs> yep. They have to meet like thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And they're like, oh. Yeah. I, <laughs> I cannot imagine what that is like. They have to put on their fake smiles in front of people. And when they get home, they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> um, when I got married, I, I was having a great time. It was a great wedding and all that stuff. But after the wedding was done, I realized that my mouth had been grinning so much for so many hours that my, it was like my jaw had locked up. I was hurting. I can only imagine that's what it's like for them sometimes. I think it was my first convention, my first year convention, 2014. I was dressed as Abe Lincoln. This is the first time I dressed up, first oh. time going to a convention. I was Abe Lincoln the whole weekend. Everyone's getting my picture. The first night I go to bed, all night I dreamt of people taking a picture of me. <laughs> all night. That's all I dreamt of. People yeah. taking pictures of me. I'm clearly, like, oh my Clearly God. an awesome costume. Clearly. <laughs> All right. So, are you doing something right this second? Uh, it, no. Pardon? No, I'm not. Okay. Let's do Defense of Starbase 1. Um, okay. It's in chat for you, me. Okay. You okay. Go. One second here. I want to make sure we're going to pick up the toys that you want. Yes, you'll get one spore canister, but if we get a decent enough team, we can go ahead and go for Elite. How good are you with your ship? Think you can handle Elite? We'll find out. <laughs> okay. Anybody <laughs> else want to join us for a little Defense of Starbase 1 Elite? They, uh, the ship almost got destroyed when doing uh, the, uh, uh, the remaining Klingon this morning. Almost. Well, almost, almost, yeah. almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And it'll get you yes. two of them. And the hand grenades came nearly close to my ship. <laughs> okay, we're going to have uh, Swear join us. And he's switching over to Bob. By the way, Pavo Dissension is good too. Ed and I run that a lot. It's ground, but really fun. And we can run. See, I don't think I've, I've not done that one, I don't think. Okay, you, you don't need a ton of stuff. <laughs> I just got to get in the general vicinity, right, Mar Hawkman? Would you like to join us for a little. Uh, Defense of Starbase 1, Elite. Help out Borg King. He's trying to get some canisters here. Yeah, I need 12 of them. Yeah. So that's going to take a little time. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we can't do it. We can do this. We can do this. I mean, okay. I'm fine getting just uh, at least three tonight. We can get three tonight. Let's see if we can get Elite to launch, um, but I'm going to queue it for both Elite and for Advanced just to see what pops first, because after a 30-minute cooldown, we can give it another try. Yeah. Okay? At least two or three, because I just need... I, I'll have five, so I'll be able to get, like... <laughs> get, make one of my console or uh, things for my... Oh, my God, I cannot think today. We need to get <laughs> three for you. Swear says, easy yeah. peasy, beautiful cover girl. Yep, exactly. All right, Oop. so we are queued for yeah. Elite, and we are queued for Advanced. Let's see what pops. Okay, we got Advanced Wee right boo. away. Wee boo. That's not to be good. 
Oh, it's an easy one. Listen up. The war has... Yeah, I'm sure the war has not been going well. Yada yada yada. Who have we got with us? Shepherd and Hoppy. Okay, Shepherd and Hoppy. Let's make this and happen. Ball. Someone named Ball. Be all. Don't know who that is. Uh, L. That's Hoppy. Hoppy at nine. Or sorry, okay. Hoppy number nine two six four. And Bob, of course, is Naughty Kirk. Our dear beloved. Swear I'm not wasted. We did this on Elite the other night, and it was pretty simple, but it was, again, all people we knew, so it makes life so much better. Yeah, I did it with you. Yeah. I think, yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know if you can still do it as an AFK, by the way, on Elite. You used to be able to. Does anybody know if this is still AF cable? Solo on Elite? Ask DT, he should know. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he never solos stuff. Or, I mean, he solos stuff, but he does not AFK stuff. Oh. Though he might, now that he has to work. Work just ruins gameplay. And every now and then my husband's like, you should just retire. Come home and live here and, you know, don't work anymore. Which sounds great. And I could play games all the time, which would be even better. So I was listening to YouTube as I was getting around today, and I realized I'm listening to Brent Spiner advertise a uh, Star Trek phone game. Star Trek Adventures, maybe? Star Trek Commander? I don't know what it is. And then I realized it was Jonathan Frakes also talking with him advertising this game. It's a phone game. I mean, they should come out and advertise this. This is Star Trek Online. They didn't do voices for this, that's why. Do they do voices for that? Probably, yeah. Okay. They should do voices for this. I think that's the best solution. Take her off, protect you. I'll get you What do you mean you're taking fire? You're gone. What? This is Decatur. We're taking fire. Please assist. Dude, you already launched. You know, yeah, they protected them. What the hell? Yeah, really. <laughs> Lady, you launched. You're gone. Don't worry about it. It's like when you play Tarek Nor and the technicians are just going, cower, cower, cower. Lady, we're giving you cover fire. Go do whatever the heck you're supposed to be doing. 
We'll do cover fire. You go fix things. This is Andor. Our shields are taking hits, and we can use the shield. <laughs> and he launched. Yeah, they're they're real slow on this stuff. It's they say it like they leave, which is stupid. This ship says they're taking heavy damage. Yeah, really. I'm just <laughs> waiting to hear that. We cleared it for you, and you just piddle along there. Not taking off. It's not our problem. Oh, didn't come see on. anything. Yeah, she said something. <laughs> hello, Mom. hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you, Ben? I'm good. You're quiet though tonight. Oh, is my mic? I don't have the mic on my head right now. It's a little bit. <laughs> Barely hear him what did you do voice. with the mic? Where is it? It's on the bed. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess if you talk really loud, you'll be fine. Yeah, I just don't... Uh, I've been wearing it all day, and my head just needed a break from wearing it. Boy, do I understand that. <clears throat> when we used to do the occasional 24-hour mega stream and party thing, there'd be moments when I just uh, would have to take it off because my ears were smashed and... It was soaking oh, yeah, wet yeah, from it, sweat. It feels yeah. like your ears are sweating or something. Oh, they are. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Usually we do those mega events during the summer, and I do not believe in air conditioning. Translation, oh, air I, conditioning? I do not <laughs> believe in paying more than $50 a month for heating or electrical. So I will suck it up and deal with it. Actually, my last place I lived in I, I'm the kind of guy who needs it ice cold, otherwise I will pass out and die. Ooh. That's a little different than I just don't want to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> but you'd get along fine with my son because I go over to his apartment and this time of year they'd have the windows open. It was oh, yeah. 22 so, um, degrees this morning. I actually sleep with the windows open and yeah. Well, I turn off the heat at night. I, I don't even run the heat in the winter. It gets chilly. Heat to heat the entire apartment. No, it, it gets chilly here, so I uh, turn the heat down to, you know, yeah, just enough so the where, pipes don't freeze. Where, and where then cuddle up under 87 blankets. What, where, where are you located? Indianapolis. Okay, yeah, see, I, I am on the other end, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Yeah, you you do get slightly cooler than we do. It's actually kind of pleasant down here. So everybody will bitch and moan if it gets to 20 degrees or so. But yeah, no, it's about no, as cold I as it ever gets. Turn off in the winter, I actually turn off the heat, and my body will heat the entire apartment. <sighs> that's, that's warm. You're getting snow this weekend, Swear? Where are you that you're getting snow? No, no snow yet. Okay. Well, Swear says he's getting snow this weekend. We okay. had like three or four flurries when I was driving back to Chicago two weeks ago. Oh, you're yeah, up in Quebec. My mom lives. Pardon? My mom lives in Chicago. Oh, where in Chicago? Don't give me any specifics, but where in Chicago, roughly? Um, I think she's in the northwestern edge of the city. Okay. The woman who played um, Elena Necheyev in uh, TNG, 
lives on the north side of Chicago, so it's okay, nice. who? Pardon? Wait, who? Elena Nechev. She's like on the fifteenth floor. Oh, okay. Was that the admiral? Yeah, I see. Admiral. Okay. Yeah, I've uh, for reasons I can't go into. I have met her in circumstances outside of uh, Star Trek. And so when she's at conventions, we get to chit-chatting. She's always going, you should come over and visit. <laughs> and I'm always like, that is so awkward. Yeah, I know. But yeah, she's, I've got her address. And she really isn't that she was person. Awesome. Wasn't she in Deep Space Nine too? Yeah, I think she was. She was in a lot of stuff. But it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't her. It was a we got rain coming. mind <laughs> image of her. No. <laughs> Guess how what the temperature is out right now? Um. Oh gosh, I don't know. Ten degrees. Huh? Ten degrees. Is that ten degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's twenty-eight degrees Fahrenheit here. Okay, so you're a little cooler than us. We're at thirty-four at the moment. Um, swear, are you saying I pronounced Quebec right or Elena Necheyev correctly, <laughs> or both? So, are you guys wanting to uh, play some Star Trek? We are definitely playing some Star Trek. Okay. Like helping. Oh well, I mean, I should let me back that up. Do you guys want to help me level a new character? Sure, we can do that. But we're also going to help Borg King. We need to do a couple more um, things so he can pick up some more canisters. More. I think mean, I just do one more. I'll be happy with one more. Okay, mission because I'll have five, so I can buy one more. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, whatever. Good. Then you can do Operation Repost with me because I need to do that one. Uh, what level? Um, let me see what you need to be for Operation Repost. I don't know off the oh, top of my head. Hold on, I was just looking at it. Uh, that are up there. I just you have to be level ten. ten or above. Yeah, as long as you're level ten, you can do it. But that I'm not sure if, uh, what it is for elite. Oh, it's fifty. What what level are you at? Uh, are we going Fed or Klingon? We are going. Well, hang on a second. What level is your Fed tune on? My what? what Our... If you have a Fed tune, what level is he or she? Uh, unfortunately, I. Can't. Keeps cutting out for me. Okay. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. I also didn't have the headset on, which oh, might actually improve some that, That's a problem, yes. Okay, you were saying that? I was saying, what level is your tune on Federation? Uh, well, like I said, I've got some lower, and then I've got a couple high. Okay, have you done your Operation Repost for the Universal Endeavor yet today? I haven't played in a couple of weeks. Okay, so that would say that, no, you haven't done your yes. Operation Repost. <laughs> okay. That is correct. All right. So grab a Federation tune who is at least level 50, 5 zero. And we will yeah, team. I got, a, okay. I got a 65, so. Okay. Grab him, and then you, me, and Borg King will run out and do Operation Repost, which won't do much for leveling your tune because if he's already 65, but then Borg King will get his canister. I'll get my Endeavor, and then you and I can uh, go do some leveling. Yeah, um, or I could get on. I do have a couple that are below sixty-five that could still use the. Level. As long as they're fifty or higher, we are fine. I, I, I think I think I do. I think okay. I have uh, fifty-two. I think. Okay, grab him, and let me know which tune he is, and we will invite. Give In the meantime, me a second because it's loading. Okay. I've got that giant cryptic word on the on the screen with a loading bar. <laughs> what Which is do we new? Get the endeavors at? Pardon? What levels do we get the endeavors at? Uh, uh 60, 60. I don't know why we don't get them like with the admiralty stuff. How do we get uh where do I get that? By the what? way. It just the magically appears all by itself. Yeah. It'll okay. appear over on the side of your screen. If you're looking at my screen right now, you can see how they just magically appear over here, and they should appear at level 60. Congratulations, Dark Mom. You have 
Blessed by Bacon. As a reward, your stream has received a 2x multiplier for sheer awesomeness. Well, thank you, Bacon-flavored streaming. We also have <laughs> Bacon Overlord that occasionally bacon joins us. Boy. Bacon flavoring and Bacon Overlord. We are Bacon blessed. Yes. <laughs> As somebody once said, oh no, that's too much bacon, said no one ever. Me. You don't like bacon? Not really. Can I have yours? <laughs> have all mine. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, okay, thank you, thank so, you. Oh, yeah, I could do this one, I guess. Yeah. Okay, who is it? Her name is Nelva. Nelva. N E N E L V A. Are we friends? Um... Uh, if you added my cryptic tag, you should have me. I'm not anyway. seeing you pop up here. Hmm. Are you in strike group chat? Or can you put your name into uh, uh, I, Discord and I then I can just grab it? I character has joined that chat yet. That, okay, that's not a problem. Can you give me, uh, put your name into the Discord chat? Oh, he's in our, he's, oh, he's in a, he's in the uh, oh, there strike he is. group. He just popped. Okay, got him. Yep. I just yeah, came in. in okay, there you are. Hey. We are golden. And I'm bringing my carrier, my federation carrier. Well, that Actually, this is this is the one from the fleet list, I believe. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's fine if people don't like bacon, because that means there's more for us. Okay, you said it should pop up on the left? Well, it should pop up someplace on your screen. Mine happens to be over here on my left. Um, as long as you're level 60 or higher, you should have access to Endeavors in Mar Hawkman, or somebody will correct me if I am wrong. But I, am... I think it is level 60. I wish it was level fifty-two, like everything else. Yeah, no. Yeah, because I'm not. I'm not seeing anything on the right. Well, I'm seeing a bunch of my quests. What level is your tune? Fifty-two. That's why, because it'll be sixty. So we have to get you All eight right. more levels. Then Let it'll start popping swap. up. Let me swap then. Give me okay. One second. Whoops! As I hit the wrong thing. That's fine. <laughs> I actually signed completely that. out. <laughs> actually signed completely out. <laughs> I meant to hit change character. Instead, I hit log out. I've done that. Okay, at least 60. Let me. At least 60, through. yeah. Uh, that's 54. Okay, so I do have a Gemadar, but I don't want to do that one. I'm going to ask for a real quick break here. I'm just going to go grab my slippers. I'll be right back. All right, yeah. It looks like I'll have to do my 65. Uh, the question is, which 65 do you want? Gemadar, who's not aligned with them, or Romulan aligned with them, or a regular Fed? What do you think? Bumping my legs into shit. Crap stuff. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear that. She probably did, though. I've already packed up everything to go off to Chicago, so I just realized I packed up my robe so, and all my extra blankets and I'm freezing. Which one would you guys like? I've got a Gemadar aligned with them, a uh, Romulan aligned with them, and then I have a regular one. Whichever one you like to fly. Whichever one does lots of fun pew pew. Well, they all have a carrier, so... Oh, the Vanguard Dreadnought Carrier? Uh, I've got, sorry, I've got a Dreadnought on my oh, Romulan. Okay. Dreadnought on my Romulan, and then I've got a Carrier on the other two. But whichever one you like. Doesn't matter, this will be um, straight line pew pew. Uh, the only thing that will require a little degree of maneuverability is when we do the missiles coming up from the ground. Okay, so this is something that I've never done before, so you'll have to bear with me, too. No worries. I don't think I've ever done this one, either. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to use my Gemadar. Okay. And come in with my Arrowhead uh, carrier. Gemmies are oh, awesome. The Java. I love <laughs> The Vanguard Dreadnought? I believe so, yeah. I love Oops. that thing. Hold on. You that's... get, like... That is telling uh, me that you're KDF aligned, not Federation aligned. Oh, is this one the wrong one? 
Yeah, it's telling me you're not allied with the KDF or with the uh, feds. That's your KDF. So you're gonna have to grab right. somebody else. I, I do. I do have two of them. So okay. I've got to ah. figure out which one which. Boy, that can be confusing. Yeah. I love the Vanguard Dreadnought because it's got the. Okay, the, this the is the one man. that Al Federation <laughs> allied. <laughs> yeah, I've got two of them, <laughs> so it's like, eh, which one? Okay, this is the Federation aligned one. But give me a sec, because I'm beaming back up to my ship, because I was on the station. No worries. <laughs> Swear, did you yeah, want to join us for a little Operation Repost? If you want to. No pressure. Oh. That was an I interesting sound. Um, Which one? Like, the ding. Yeah. Ding. Okay, I'm, I'm phone going off. I thought it was mine. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, mine's in the other room. I'm thinking, wow, oh, that's loud. Uh, my phone just pinged. So. Ah. Uh, diplomatic orders. That's what popped up for me. No. For some reason. Well, I mean, it may have popped up for you, but um, did you get my team invite? Uh, give me a sec. Yep. All right. It was hiding underneath my. Ah, thing. yes, they are notorious for doing that. Anybody else want to join us for a little Operation Repasta? Repasta. <laughs> yeah, I have like we're about to eat part. something. <laughs> I did do this one. I did this one yesterday. So. Yep. Yeah, it's the universal. But, uh, but, but you get the spore canister, so that's why we're doing it. Okay, I do not have anything on the right side. So what level is your tune? Oh, I can tell this is one. 65. Okay, someplace you should have your endeavors. So what, um, let's go ahead. You know how to pull up your rearrange HED, your heads up display? Uh, yeah. Okay, so go rearrange, to your option. Uh, so you're gonna uh, go to the little gear, the game menu settings, yeah. click I, on I've that. I've got all the various like okay. little pop-up things. There. Right, there should be one that says endeavor tracker. Um, For me, it's on the right-hand side. Uh, Borg King, where's your Endeavor Tracker? PvP I moved it to the middle. Okay. Uh, HUD, Interaction Window, Pause, Wait usually, usually it's in the upper right-hand corner. Okay. Oh, Endeavor Tracker, there it is. I see it. Uh, it's not showing right now. That's Okay, well, click on it so it says Show. Uh, there we go. There, now it's showing. There we go, got it. It shows up on the right. But I might move it because that is a really bad spot. Hangar bay. Move my wingman. Sorry, I'm just rearranging a few things here. No worries. Bob's going to join us. That'll uh, give us a bigger team. Uh, loot roller can go over here. That's fine. Main notifications. I'm not sure I even need that. Direction window. And Bob, we're always happy to have you with us. Or the Dyson Sphere in the Delta Quadrant looks like. No, that's a ship. No, no. Okay. All set. Now All set? It's showing. I was yep, saying the it. Dyson Sphere looks like the I Death Star. I have no idea where I'm going, though. Okay, you don't have to do anything. I'm going to launch us. So oh, we're gonna do, okay, as I'm leaving yeah. Sector. Yep, yeah, you can <laughs> leave Sector. I'm going to go ahead and launch us for Operation Repost. All right, Beam. give me one second to load. Okay. There we go. Borg King, do you have a wee-woo? Yeah. Do you have a wee-woo? Wee-woo. Okay, everybody else got a wee-woo? Bobby got a wee-woo? What's a wee-woo? Where it comes up saying, Task Force Operation is ready. Oh, I just hit accept. Okay. <laughs> The reason we check is there is a minor glitch in the game. So every uh, now and then we could be teamed, but not everybody in the team got the wee-woo. I see. And the reason it's called the yeah. wee-woo is it makes that sound wee-woo. And we, of course, picked up Wolfie's love of making the wee-woo sound because she makes it better than anybody else. <laughs> and it's become the wee-woo. She has a cute little voice yeah. sound. To <laughs> there we go. 
All right, so let me talk you through first section of this game if you two haven't run it before. No, I did run it yesterday. Okay, That's so right. there's three That's satellites. Right. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. There are three satellites. Um, we're going to take out the defenses around Zenith 1 station. Once we take out the defenses, it will drop its shields and we can beam up the nine landing parties. Usually what happens is one of us will stay behind to do the beam ups and everybody else goes on to two and everybody goes out to three. That's the first part of it. So pretty basic. Station one, take out defenses. Station two, take out defenses. Station three, take out defenses. Okay, everybody yeah. golden? I Yep. Almost. I'm okay. launching all. I just need a few seconds so I can launch the final wing of. You my still. Fighters. You got 12 seconds. No problems. All right. All my fighters are out. You know you can put them on auto launch, right? Drop the facility shields and board them. Uh, I did not. Yeah. Double. Do a left-right mouse click on them, and they will go into auto launch. So as soon as you get into a scenario, they're launching, and every time they can relaunch, they will relaunch. Bob, size isn't everything. Ah, uh, thanks. Slow turning. I might end up going into the second group by accident. That's okay. You can go on. I'm doing the away teams. You can head over there. Yeah, I'm doing the away teams too. Yeah. And start beating them up. Seven of nine! That's the way team I got. I got eight of nine? <laughs> okay. Alright. It's like the seven of nine one. I think they did that on purpose. <laughs> well, they didn't do third of five. This is true. Mayor Hawkman, I auto launch my uh, pets on my Gorn. I do not do them on this tune, on the other ship that's got pets. So it kind of depends on where I'm going with it. I had to fly my ship. <laughs> I'm being up here. Uh, I'm just so fucking big that it's so hard to turn. Well, there's a couple of things you can do to make that easier. There's some modules that could definitely help you, and we can work on those tonight if you want. Yeah, I, I haven't had a lot of time to set things up yet. Well, you said you hadn't been playing a lot lately, so no worries. I'm still kind of learning how to set things up yep. properly. I, I am too, and I've been playing since the game premiered, so... I think it's. Uh, I think. I think it's funny when they first came out with the, um, the, the uh, epic stuff. Yeah. Yep. Basically, you can put all your stuff to epic the first time. Mm -hmm. I think one of my ships was the most powerful thing. I took out a board <laughs> vessel by myself. <laughs> now I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, it used to be saying, "Oh, hey, I can one shot a board cube." Was impressive. And these days, it's like everybody can board one shot a board cube. Now it's impressive if you can one-shot a tactical cube. Okay, so now we're going to take out the remaining Klingon ships. Klingon. I think we're a little overpowered. <laughs> you make that sound like a bad thing. Okay, so what's going to happen right now is two things are going to happen. There are going to be some bases up in space that need to be protected. I believe it's three bases. And there are going to be batteries down on the ground that are going to fire missiles up at us. So usually okay. two people take on the missiles coming up from the planet. I'll do missiles. Okay, I'll do missiles with you. And you stick up there and defend. Unless right. Bob... 
Bob, did you want to do missiles? You're a little bit more nimble than I am, I think. Yeah, I'm not very nimble, so yeah. missile's probably not the best idea. Okay. Intercept enemy missile. Okay, I'm going to leave Bob down there since he seems... Okay, Bob, why don't you do down there? And we'll do up here. And the goal here is we don't want to uh, let the Klingons get our troops. Would this be considered as projectiles and what? missiles? Missiles or projectiles, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I don't have the endeavor for that right now. <laughs> you know, I don't know if... You, are you talking about destroy destructible torpedoes? Yeah. That's a good question. I don't know if the missiles count as torps for that one. Uh, Mark Hawkman be. points out... Uh, one thing Augie pointed out is that torp builds are actually really good for missile defense since torp spreads can't miss. Okay. Looking into the atmosphere. <laughs> Just... I changed keyboards and these keys are slightly bigger and slightly more spread apart than my last keyboard. So I keep accidentally not changing my throttles. Here again. Get away from the plane right now. Like going into the atmosphere for some reason. Beta corridor, another inbound missile. Take it down. Okay, on that missile down there. Ah, can't burn. As I said, once we get done here, let's go look at your ship and see if we can't get a couple of things to help you out. Yeah. I think it's just the fact that this thing's so huge. It is, but there's a few things you can add to it. RCS, uh, Polaric Modulators. Some of the traits are good. Mm. Oops, hit the wrong one. What the heck? Where is... Oh, wait, they're way over there. God damn. They moved... And now they're behind me. Get that one, be get that one. Thank you. <laughs> Too cool. Well, right, right that'll work with these. Yeah, it does. How sweet. Hey, Mar Hawkman, I just started working with Ed a little bit on my torpedo build this morning, so... Not this ship, a different ship. Yeah, I'm sure again. Alright, I'm trying to nestle, but. Alright, that, that's. Okay, next sequence. We need to defend, or actually, we need to capture the Klingon troop ships, but as soon as we do that, the Klingons are going to try and shoot them down so they can't be brought over to us. So we're going to go shoot oh, up yeah, some Klingons and grab some them. transports. 
Yeah. Over here or over by you guys? I thought it was over by you. Uh, it's behind me somewhere. No. It's over here. It's between these two little red planetoids. What I was reading, you can AFK this. Not sure what the criteria is for it, but I don't see how. I'm Everything not sure. Well, it's time. <laughs> well, the, it doesn't matter. You can be destroyed, but it's time gated. So I'm thinking you'd have to defeat the original sequence in it. <laughs> You know, that uh, initial battle you'd still have to do. You can't AFK the whole thing. But maybe you can. So, I Board King, I, I don't know if anybody besides me remembers the original Mirror Universe event with the four satellites. Yeah, I... I I don't remember anything like okay. that. All right, so. it goes back a ways, a long time. But that was when I first started to realize that people occasionally would AFK things. And we would agree before we started that we we're going to do it. And what would happen is, because it was AFKable, but it took 15 minutes, we would team up, start it, one person would stay, and the remaining four would zip off and start it on other tunes. And somebody would stay behind with that one and the remaining three would then go off and AFK it on a third one and once that got started somebody would stay there and people would start popping back to finish it up on the other account so you could run it on three or this is when you had to run it on multiple tunes so if you had 13 tunes you had to run it on 13 different tunes every day I'm thinking of the one Mar Hawkman where we had the four satellites that you had to activate is that what you had, or what's in your brain? And it goes back quite a ways. The Klingon transport has been secured. I think it's pre-Lita. When was pre-Lita? <laughs> I don't think Lita's been in since day one. I think she joined in a little bit later, but I could be wrong. Oh, no, um, was that defending Obasek Starbase? Yeah, it was a big Terran fleet, I remember that part. Where are we at? Got a minute and a half to go. We've got eight transports so far, so not bad. What's the maximum amount of transports I can do? I don't know. I think 12 is the most I've done, but it probably isn't. The Klingon transport has been secured. Yeah, how fast I can get there with this one. I got a minute and 19. Yeah. A minute and 10, I mean. Yeah, my ship's not fast enough to run these. So. Well, do you have evasive maneuvers? Of course, you have evasive um, maneuvers. Everybody I have it. it. I just don't have it on the action bar for some odd reason. Put it on your action bar. It's great for giving a little burst of speed. It's a relatively short cooldown. There it is. Okay. I don't okay. know why I didn't have that on there. 
Yeah, I know. I don't know why I didn't either. It also <laughs> enhances my turn radius. It does, yes. Like. I'm trying to figure out where that thing went. My <laughs> base of maneuvers. <laughs> it's like, I was like trying to find it. I was like, oh, oh yes. Yeah, the that's what I was trying to figure out. Oh, boy. And obviously, is, the goal is to get a car's dreadnought. Alright. Which is right in the middle of all this. That that. Yeah, Mar Hawkman, I uh I fully caught webbed. in that one a few times. I fully and webbed your butt. <laughs> R. And we are done. Yay! Withdraw. Yeah, I'll do fleet. Run away! Run away! How did we do? <laughs> 136 marks. <laughs> it doesn't sound like the guy, like the guy that played on um, Discovery. The guy that played on Discovery. Lorca, the guy who played Lorca. Oh, it, it doesn't sound like the, it really it is him. Okay. Yeah. No, it's I don't remember his name, but yeah, no, it's really him. I didn't realize he was also in uh, um, Armageddon. Is who? With... He was the one. He had the act. He was the one with the accent. No, that's not him. Yes, it is. No. I looked it up. No. Yeah. The guy with the dark hair, that was him. I was watching Armageddon. What is, was... what is his name? Goodness. Um. Good night. Yeah. Um. Was it uh, Jason, Jason Isaacs. Isaacs? Was he really? He, yeah, he oh played Ronald Quincy. In Armageddon. Wow, I'm trying to think of yeah. Who. I just was watching that the other day, too. He was like, uh, I, I think he was the one that, uh, oh. It was, it was... Hang on, I'll pop it on here and see who it is. See if I can remember who he is. Oh my god, he's in everything, isn't he? He was the smart one. He was the one that, uh, he told some guy that he was smarter than him or something like that. And I'm like, because I was like, he's, I'm like, he looks very familiar. When I looked at him, I was like, Jason Isaacs. I'm like, oh, he played in Discovery. Oh, him. Okay. Yeah. I never figured it out. <laughs> I never no. realized that was him. To me, I thought he was a new new no-name actor appearing out of nowhere on Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was in Harry Potter. i never seen Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Okay, I know the president's chief scientific advisor. We were at MIT together, and in a situation like this, you, you really don't want to take the advice of a man who got a C-minus in astrophysics. Yeah. <laughs> the president's advisors are I'm wrong, and I'm right. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I love this character. With the proximity of the <laughs> asteroid and no prep time, none of our primary plans can work. General Kimsey, why don't we just send up 150 nuclear warheads and blast the rock apart? Quincy, terrible idea. Kimsey, was I talking to you? Dan, this is Dr. Ronald Quincy from Research. Pretty much the smartest man on the planet. You might want to listen to him. <laughs> Good hmm. lines. Yeah, I didn't realize that was him. <laughs> Yeah, and he had that like he had that like British accent type thing. 
I have to go back and watch it. It's not the biggest part, but yeah, now I remember it. Yeah. Satalia, hi, hi. How are you? What should I do? Should I do the warp core or the impulse engine? For which one? Or Discovery. Um, you're talking about? The Tilly set. The Tilly Stamets set. Okay. What I like out of the Tilly Stamets set is I love... I already got the shields, but I'm thinking okay. about which one I should do first. Because I already have the shields, but which one should I do? Should I do the uh, engines... The impulse engines or the warp core? Um, honestly, I don't know that or I would do either. I don't know or that I would do either dish. one. Because I actually did a little bit of hit and miss on that one. Um, I, you said you did get the shields, then I would go with the uh, yeah. core. Core? Yeah. Because on the engines, I actually went and got fleet engines, and I'm really happy with it. I'm doing good, Satalia. How are you doing? We haven't seen you for a while, or heard you for a while. Well, I like to get the set bonuses, too, for everything. There is, but the set bonus wasn't as good as grabbing, you know, the two-piece set bonus from getting the core and the shields and then grabbing a better set of engines. But that said, the non-baryonic matter deflector array and the non-baryonic um, thing that drags stuff along is pretty cool. All right, so it's time to figure out what you need for your ship. So what ship are you running, first of all? Uh, well, it's, like I said, it was the carrier. Well, do you want to work on building that up, or would you rather level up your tunes? Well, the uh, Vanguard support carrier... Mm -hmm. um, it just it needs some turn radius okay so the first thing you can do is a rcs okay is that in what flaw you, does that go in pardon uh it'll is go in engineering okay yeah because i do have i i sense. have this divernium hull plating right yep. now and then i've got also got a uh power regulator well let's EPS flow regulator and what's it giving you in terms of any advantages 80 80s percent power transfer rate okay but if maneuverability is your bigger issue because you probably have a heavier yeah. tankier ship so the easier one for you to grab is an rcs and it's an accelerator, right. it is going to go into it. It's an engineering console. You can either craft one, or you can just buy one off the exchange. The question is, how much are they going for I'll right tell now? you in a second. Because on this character, I've only got 451,000 credits. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Yeah. Okay, they're going for about half a million, which is pretty meh. Let me see what it's going to cost me to craft one for you real quick. More what important. are you trying to get? Um, an RCS. An RCS, what's that? It's going to improve. It'll, it's going to improve my turn radius on my carrier. It is an RCS accelerator, and there's different types of them. But for example, a Mark 12 will give you like a 40% turn rate improvement. That would definitely help. Yeah. Hey, Swear, how much do you want for it? And I'd be happy to pay you, so if you would send that off to him, and I will be happy to send you some money. <laughs> Great. Cool. I owe you one then. The fleet has money to buy stuff. <laughs> I think I have more money stored in the bank, too. Money is a good thing. Which tune do you want this sent to? Uh, it's going to Vedette Adar. Okay. Uh, so it's Vedette apostrophe Adar. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. How much does he need for it? Because I've got over seven mil stored in the bank. <laughs> That's between the two of you.
What's the best turn radiate rate the rate there turn rate? Like I can't speak today. What's the best turn rate, turn rate for what? Like a baseline ship? Yeah. Um, yeah. if you take but a I look, say like it's an like cruise. twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, I mean a, a big heavy tanky ship would be around four. Okay. Just to give you an idea of what the extremes are. There we so. go. So that should have appeared in straight group chat, right? Does that work? Yep, that works. All right. Okay, so go check your mail. Remember, you have to go to a mail kiosk to get anything. Yeah, if he can just... He did. If he wants... Uh, to, okay, did he say how much he wanted for it? Because I've got that, a... That's between the two of you. He's got a zero written here, so I'm going to guess that's a zero. Just put it in the karma wheel and pass it on. You know, next time okay. you can help somebody out, help somebody out. Of course. So that's the easiest way to run this. Uh, let's right. see. Okay, so the turn rate on this one. My big legendary command dreadnought has a turn rate of three. So in other words, it turns, you know, sometime this year. <laughs> so that would be under stats, right? Yes. Okay. And my then, turn rate for my ship is 34. Uh, where... Yeah, okay, so there we go to the other extreme. So we're talking something super nimble then. Yeah, my turn rate now with that equipped is mm -hmm. three degrees per second. Are you on ground or are you in space? Uh, no, the, I did the patrol with my support carrier stats. Okay. Right, but once you equip that and you go up into space, it should show you a different turn rate. Oh, a different turn rate. Okay. Right. I equipped it, heading back up. Mm -hmm. So 34 is good, right? 34 is excellent. It's very, very nimble, very quick little zip okay. zap in out type ship. 30 point, 34.8. Okay. Is what it is. So that is degrees per second, I believe. Yeah. 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 So you can get an idea how fast that's going for okay. making a turn. That definitely improved it. Right. It started at 3 degrees per second. It's up to 5.5 .5 degrees per second. Okay, so that's perfect. It's supposed to be a 40% increase. So if you were at 3, then you've got that increase. Yeah, a little bit more than that. So another thing that will improve your turn rate is something called a Polaric Modulator, which is free from the mission Delta Flight. It is a mission that's a lot about flying a ship through a series of complex maneuvers. And at the end of it, you get that little Polaric modulator, and that's worth a bunch to help you with your maneuverability as well. Uh, I don't, okay. No, well, how do I know what my maneuver, well, my maneuverability is? That'd be turn rate too, or? Yeah, it is your turn rate. Okay, okay. So this thing is very much a shield tanker. Okay. Yeah, the problem when you've got a nice big tanky ship is then it, you know, it handles like a brick. Yeah. So throwing out a couple of things that helps with that. Uh, let's see. In terms of traits, I don't know if any of my traits are good for. Yeah, I was looking through my traits. Uh, I don't think I have anything to help with that right now. Yeah, this one is so geared for being a tank that... I know some of those um, epic uh, uh, console that you get from lockboxes are pretty good at it. There are and, some, uh, yeah. Um, I think I opted not to use them instead because I wanted some of the other stuff. Oh, um, if you get the Cardassian three ships, they get the three consoles. Mm -hmm. The Cardassian support cluster platform thing. It gives you a uh, gives you some turn radius and some shielding too. Yeah, there's quite a few things consoles that can help, traits that can help, but that's going to give you a massive improvement right there. Other things you can do is obviously keep in mind your evasive maneuvers will give you roughly 10 seconds of really good maneuverability and also a bit of a speed burst. It just is a cooldown, so you have to pick your spots for it. Mm -hmm. Good way to practice and see how good it is is take on the crystalline catastrophe and see how fast you can get out of dodge. Oh, this thing's not going to be getting out of dodge anytime soon. Well, that's when you hit 
your uh, if you've got the Polaric modulator and then you hit evasive maneuvers and it's just like you've got that boom right off off the map for a few seconds. You don't have to get far, but sometimes you have to get out. Yeah, I, I just looked through all my space traits. There's nothing for turn radius that I have right now. So Talia says once I put a bunch of RCS mod, uh, accelerators on and the other turn rate consoles on a cruiser and was zipping around like a speed demon. DT did that <laughs> once too. And, uh, you know, he's just like, damn, go away. Stop bothering me. I'm going to swap to a different character. Okay. And just so you know, if if you want somebody can craft you a nice RCS accelerator. Yep. Um... Okay, so I've got a 52 and a 54 that I could work on, or I could go as far down as I've got in a, a level 2. Level 2 can't help it. you. I think level 10 is about the uh, lowest uh, we can team up on it. Swear so it reminds us, if you get that RCS to Mark 15 during the next upgrade event, you'll get a bonus to hull capacity. That is a good point. Hmm. Um, I also have ones on my Klingon fleet that I could do. Sweet. Um, your choice. Pick something out. I'll grab a tune. We can go off and do a couple of patrols. Uh, let's see. 54 or 52. Hmm. You know what? I want to do the 52 because it has that really nice carrier for the feds. Okay. So Bob's posted the specs here for the RCS when it's bo uh, boosted up to Mark 15. goes to a plus 47.5% flight turn rate. So that's going to give you more than you've got now. Plus a plus 11.1% hull capacity. So oh, nice. Yeah, so we want to get the chance next upgrade we can take that one up to Mark 15, which won't be very difficult because it's already a Mark 13. Let's see what the cat turn radius on. Okay, so this one starts out at a 3.4 degrees. Okay, so that's a big, heavy, tanky ship. Yeah. Yeah. The one it's issue... Called, uh, it's called the USS Badger. <laughs> <laughs> the one issue I keep running into with tanks isn't just the fact that they're slow to turn, but they have mm -hmm. a lot of inertia, which I like the authenticity right. of it. But believe me, there are times when I'm trying to get up to the first tactical cube and stop so I can drop some things there. And I go up and come up and over and down the other side. And it's I'm well past <laughs> it. So you have to figure out how to fly a little differently. Mar Hawkman reminds us, consoles are cheap to get to Mark 15. They are. You can't re-engineer an RCS, can you? I don't think you can. Because there's different uh, types of RCSs. I think you have to get them that way. It is so quiet tonight, everybody. Sorry, I'm... I'm going through this character's inventory because no no that, I, I wasn't complaining to you I'm just normally there's more people in game on a Tuesday night and it is super they're probably on they're probably either traveling going yeah. home whatever. yeah that's what I was thinking okay it's Tuesday well, right I got some free Dyson's yeah. marks not doing anything <laughs> it's just smile and say thank you Every now and then I go down to Defura and I've got something loaded up and s somehow it completes and I just get credit for it. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. Okay, I'm currently on Nelva. Ooh, thank you. I will definitely look at that one. Nelva? Yep. A Nova ship? No, no, no. Nelva is the name of my character. Right. Oh, we were, oh, Nelva. We I were going Nelva. to uh, run some patrols to level him up a bit. Would you like because, to join uh, us for some patrols? Uh, this, this one's my favorite. I'm, I'm going to be logging off once I no worries. get this character um, no duty off. No worries. Up. 
Yeah, Ed's been helping me level up in the morning, as I'm happy to help you level up. So what level are you on? Uh, 52. Okay, then we're going to take these on advanced. Up to about level 40, we normally run on elite, and 40 and higher, we tend to run on advanced. Okay, so you know all how right. to run a patrol? Vaguely. Well, all you need to really do is shoot things, but for to start it, we each have to launch into it. So you know where the patrols are on the TFO? Oh, right, that okay. thing, yeah. Right, okay. so we're going to go to patrols, and the first one we're going to do is rescue and search, which is the second one if you're looking at all patrols. The only one I like to go to yeah. all the time. Which one? The, the right. rescue and search. Haunting. Yeah. Okay, and I love launch. that one. Yeah, and it's also really high on the uh, XP. That one wanted our gala and ninth rule. Good to see you, my friend. All right. So here's here. your your goal is shoot things, don't die. <laughs> so if that means you have to stand back and just go pew 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 every now and then, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Don't forget these are that's the Molkai, so that means that's when that Cardassian set comes in, and you can bring up the the platforms, and it'll shoot for you too. Yep, and it's really important on this one because if you're too close and they do the viral impulse burst, it throws you out of the area. That's the only thing I hate about the mission. <laughs> yeah, stinking Klingons, and they do stink. Okay, so I'm coming up here to talk to the Treloon. And here comes the second punch now. Hmm? Over there. Once we're done with these, we have to go back to the Treloon and the Voot and heal them and close the rift. If you really want to. <laughs> what do they say that? If you really want to do that. Well, it won't, let us, leave it, open. it won't let us progress the mission if we don't close it, so... I know, but it's like... But they say that in the mission, if you really want to... Do they really? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you listen. It's taking me time. Truly the blessings of Lucar taking me a while to turn. <laughs> I really got to get that device you were talking about. The Polaric Modulator? Yeah. It definitely helps. This character. Something about an object? If you feel that's for the best, if you feel that's for the best get, so be it. Where do you get the modulator at? The mission is Delta Flight. Oh, okay. It's with Tom Paris and Merle, Merle Paris. It's one of those, whatever her name is, you know which one I mean. His daughter. Yeah. It's one of those annoying ones where it's just like, oh, Dad. Ugh. It's like an angsty 14-year-old. Oh, so it's like listening to Natasha Yar. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I... Mar Hawkman, I know you and I have talked about this one, but um, Sword of the Kuvema from the Foundry. Brilliant. Flippin' brilliant one. I love that. Hey, I... I still wish they'd bring back those old Klingon episodes they took out. I know, me too. I wish they brought back a lot of the old episodes just to play them once or twice through. You know, kind of a trip down memory lane. I wish I had known about Demo Record back in the day. I still miss the old uh, tutorial. I miss a lot of stuff. God, this is my tank. I can take damage. This one's my tank, too. 
If you notice, I'm barely taking any damage, even though yeah. I'm like right here in the thick of things. My Jem'Hadar Vanguard carrier has a four point four four. Uh, 42.3 degree turn radius per second. That's excellent. That's a heck of a turn rate. Okay, that was weird. What happened? It pushed me, it pushed me all the way out of the fight. Right, that is the viral yeah, impulse yeah, burst. Yeah. It's a Klingon weapon. It's a Klingon to get too close, so what you want to try and do is stay around five kilometers away from them. You'll notice I just find a good spot here and sit here. I don't fly in and out. It's a Klingon pain in the butt. It's conspiracy. Hey, I speaking tell you. of Klingon pain in the butts, how are you? <laughs> how you doing, DT? Pretty good. Good. Pretty good. Did you work today? Yeah. Ah. I wasn't sure from your message if you were working today or not. I knew you said yeah, you had I'm yesterday off. I'm work yeah, I had yesterday off. I'm working tomorrow. I get Thursday off. One would hope, yeah. Because nobody's going to be out shopping Thursday. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course people are going to be out shopping Thursday. Because people are crazy. Target's going to be closed on Thanksgiving. Pardon? Yeah, well, Target's going to be closed on Thanksgiving. Really? Well, I think Walmart yeah. is too. <gasps> That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone will be going out on after everyone has been at the table and said they're thankful for everything they have. The next day they're going to go out and beat each other stuff. up. For they don't have. All right, Nelva, <laughs> go pick up all that stuff. Get the loot. All right. Since you've done all the work, you might as well get your share of the loot there. Right. <laughs> and Board King, you should check your Dilithium and see if you can find some more. It uh, seems to be magic time oh, is I over. Oh, I character. You still can go and refine. Uh, I think that's all the items. Okay. Oh, wait. What are these little things that I'm hitting? Okay. That's Stuff? Interesting. Okay. I think that's all of them. All right. Don't leave yet, because oh, there's some things I'm okay. seeing. I want to make sure that you don't have access to them. Okay. And if you do, then you should grab them. Okay. Yes, I already refined for the day on this character. Okay. I'll just wait till tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm not seeing anything else right now. Okay, so you got your stuff. Now go and cash it in so you've got some money. And um, once you've left this... Wait, how do you cash it in? Go to hit replicator. Uh, just, uh, Go to the inventory. Hit replicator. No, 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 because you won't get as much. Um, if you've gotten a lot of stuff, go back down to Earth Space Stock or go to DS9, and go to one of the vendors. If you're on wow. Earth Space Stock, next to the exchange in the next little room over there is a vendor under the uh, awning that says Personal Equipment. And she's my preferred vendor because you get a little bit better turn or return than you do if you do just doing it off the replicator. Gotcha. Um, so it's okay to depart now? Yeah, absolutely. And once you've departed, tell me what you did in terms of leveling. All right. Give me one second. You can't tell while you're in there. That's why you have yeah. to leave. Where did I get the Zephyr? Oh, yeah, I got it from the uh, Phoenix stuff. That's right. I was going to say Phoenix. If you didn't get it from the, the original one. Zephyr Cockney Shotgun. Yeah. It, it's either from Phoenix or you got it from the... Uh, uh, whatever the heck that's called. I think it was before Phoenix. I uh, gained a whole level. Yep, that's about right. At this, level, at this rate... Sorry, when you get to the 50s, you should gain... Hopefully a full level, but more likely it'll start to slow down a little bit, so it might take two levels for every three. But we can get you get, so by the time he gets around 50, you can start doing the Admiralty, too, and getting... Yeah, he's 52 now. Huh. Or, or are you 52 or 54? 53. 53, okay. Do the Admiralty. Yeah. Yeah, do Admiralties. That'll help you out, too. Especially the Tour of Duties ones. 
Yeah. Uh, how did we? I get. Well, how did you get the Zephyr and Cochran shotgun first time? I want to event. S- mirror event. Was it a mirror event or was it the? Um, uh, no, it had to been a mirror event. So I must have done it then because that's the only way I got the shotgun because I got it way before the Phoenix boxes came out. I'm just saying I think you can reclaim it off the Phoenix boxes. Let's see. But yeah, uh, Sunday. I um, the a... Zephyr Cochran shotgun can be from a Phoenix prize pack. And it was, you're right, it was Mirror Invasion back in 2014. You ought to bring that oh back because God, it had... is the 25th anniversary of first con of the Ooh. first contact movie. It is. Yeah, it, it's actually the event that I was just chatting about with uh, Mar Hawkman back when they had the Mirror Invasion. Yeah, good team. You get stuff done. You get a few minutes to do whatever you need to. And... Mm-hmm. Or something. Yes. I just found a end captain ceremony. Remember that one? No. Where you uh, where you level up to like admiral captain, and you're supposed to go to this hall and salute Ad- and... admiral captain. I've never heard of the rank admiral no, captain. It's either admiral or captain or whatever. Okay. You gain one of those ranks, and you get the uh, the option to do the ceremony. <laughs> wow, I don't remember that. that... It's cool. Yeah, I want a ceremony. I just don't want them to. It's, it's like when I got my black belt. I always tried to make a proper ceremony when my students got a black belt, you know, and got their parents to present it to them and tie it on and, you know, just talk about how important it is. And my instructor basically said, here's belt. Not even in front of people, just handed it to me so I could go off to a tournament. It was uninspiring. Oh. <laughs> If you get a if you get a child who misbehaves, then it could be entertaining because I'm going to present you. You don't want the belt. I'm going to beat your ass with this belt for everything I say. <laughs> you're either going to wear the belt, or you're going to or you're going to get the belt. Yeah, I was doing a lot of stuff on October 11th. October 11th, busy day for you. 11 11. <laughs> right. yeah, I don't know what 10, I was 11. doing that. What now? <laughs> oh, I was on for a few hours oh, a day. I, wow. I haven't even got I haven't gone to the station yet. That's what I haven't done. Well, you definitely need to go to the station. Hmm. Uh, Boy, I, you need I, to I, do Operation Repost. Ah, you've missed it. We've done it twice today. But I can do it again. Actually Borg can I I wasn't here now, was I? Keeps you're always a day ahead of me. But Board King can do it too because he really needs some more spore canisters. He's trying to get some stuff. Now, is that something you can only do once at all, or can you do it once per character? You can do it once per character per 30 minutes. So you could do all of your tunes and then redo them as long as 30 minutes has elapsed. That's the cool down on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's the room with the exchange. I had no life back in 2013. Is that the left <laughs> of the exchange? Um, you mean to say you have a life now? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? I'm just outside the exchange on Starbase. Which, um, okay, Starbase, so you're on ESD? Okay, I'm over yeah. here. Over here. See me? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to go over and see. You want to trade in some of your stuff? Yeah. Okay, this is my vendor here on ESD. Ah, this okay. nice lady here. There is a vendor who gives slightly more than 50% on all of the big stations. So DS9, ESD, Drazana. Some of them yeah. will only give 50%, some only give 40 And I think the replicators only do 35 or 40 but if you're in the middle of a fight and you get too much room or too much stuff like I currently do, you know, yeah, do what you can. There you go. I have to figure out the one on DS9 that gives more than fit, who gives around that 50 level. There's one that's uh, Vron's Kits. Ah. 
That's one I usually go to. Yeah. It's just you have to find them because they're inside a room and you have to go running past things and there's only that little tiny sign telling you who's in there. Advice merchants. Kit merchants. Found them. Mm -hmm. That is them. Wow. Well, back, on, back on October 11th, I spent from 8 a.m. till 10.30 p.m. on Star Trek Online. This year? No, back in 2013. Oh. <laughs> so I was going to say that's a heck of a lot <laughs> so, imagine, if, imagine if Twitch was around that time <laughs> Endeavor Game Mon is rating us with a party of five hi Endeavor Game Mon hi 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 how are you today well this this is a relatively new tune um, this one's only seven years old wow I remember when I made her too. How are you guys doing today? Hey, it's Chef Smitty. Hi guys, how are you doing tonight? I presume you came over from your stream. I hope you had some fun. We've been doing a little Operation Repost and some uh, leveling of tunes. Or yeah, leveling of tunes, leveling of ships. Why doesn't that want to close? There we go. Thank you for the raid. We appreciate it. DT's here. Well, technically DT's there. DT's here. DT's there. DT can be kind of there. Everywhere. Hold on. Sorry, there. I get a little disoriented in here. Well, whatever. He's not here. Or, or is it there? Sweet. Oh. Giveaways. Good idea. I should put together some stuff and do a giveaway. But I should put together a fleet party too. Should we do a okay. fleet party during the winter event? We probably should. Mm, I'm thinking the winter event's probably going to start like uh, two weeks from today. That's my guess because this event ends two weeks from today. Speaking of, where sense. am I? I lost you. I was going to oh. as, ask you what, what you thought of the outfit this one was wearing. Hang on. I will run back over there. December 7th. Hey, Pope of Simps, thank you so much for the follow. Very kind of you. All right, let's see this one here. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I like it. I like the glasses on it. Very yeah, those uh, are the Trinity. In, those, are, those are the Intel glasses. Ah, nice. Yeah. You are correct in Endeavor Game on. It is December the 7th, but I don't know if the um, winter event's going to start day. that day. I think it would. Last year started uh, on December the, the 8th. A day that will live in infinity. It starts the day after the Klingon thing ends. So it's going to start on a Wednesday? That's weird. Yeah. I figured they'd just have one the, go off and it, come back it, from the patch and the new one's on. Yeah. yeah, that's how they usually do it. Yeah. By I, the way, um, uh, this, this character has a full crew of Endorians behind her. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an Endorian with an Endorian crew. Oh, that makes sense. Um, oh, that's not a <laughs> Green skin, pointed eared uh, hobgoblins. I had an all gotta... Ryan crew, all female Orion crew, and I used to have uh, four women and the captain, and one guy with a smug look on his face. And then I decided that. And, and a broken pelvis. <laughs> well, I then decided that all four of them should slowly look a little bit bigger and bigger, and so it was obvious they were pregnant. And then they weren't one day, and the guy was also gone. And you may make up whatever stories you want about that. <laughs> That's all right. My Gorn has an old Gorn crew. Yeah. You've seen them, Mom. I have seen them, Definitely. I think uh, Ed's got an all Gorn team. It's, it's Captain Cuddles. He's got Auntie Vito, uh, Guido, Vinny, and I can't remember the new one, which are his um, assistants. All Gorn Vinny, assistants. Isn't Vinny from Spaceballs? 
I don't know. I thought he was doing a different Vinny, but it could be from Spaceballs. I didn't know there were any Gorn in Spaceballs. I didn't think there were any Gorn in Spaceballs either. But he's got this wonderful backstory for Captain Cuddles, which is Captain Cuddles um, basically has got a, yeah, he's, his dad supports him in anything. So, you know, if he needs new equipment or stuff, dad helps him out. And he sent Guido, Vinny, and Auntie to, you know, kind of protect him so nobody can beat him up. All right. So you want to do Operation Repost there, Mr. DT? Yeah, I think I would. Okay. Would you like to go Federation or KDF? I'm on a Fed, so. Okay. I'll need to switch to the a different question, one then. The no, question, you can run it with that one. That's at level 53. The question is, do I want to do a... Do I want to do this on my normal ship, or do I just want to go with that more cannon starship? Oh, go cannon. Have some fun. Yeah. Yeah, no, Nelva, you can stay on that one. You said you're level 53, and this just has to be level 50. Oh, okay. To go on advanced. All right, give me one. Sure, no problem. Borking, do you want to run with us one more time so you can get one more canister out of it? No, I'm going to... Log off. No worries. <laughs> you have a yeah, great evening. And actually, yeah. I won't talk to you before Thanksgiving, so have a great Thanksgiving. Yep, Don't work too hard. I will, and take yeah, care of yourself. I'll probably, probably end up doing all the work. Yeah, you will, but you know, <laughs> try and take care of yourself. I'm swapping to a different yeah. ship. Okay, no worries. Just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, I'll send you an invite, DT. Well, while you're switching ships, let me grab a quick cup of coffee. I will be right back. I should tell her I had an idea for a point redeem. I think I'll hit that when we get back. And how's everybody doing tonight? Doing all right, you? Yeah, made it through another day at work. Kind of rainy, kind of slowish, but, you know, I survived. That's and good. I have, and Surviving I have not, is always good. And I have not beat and I have not beaten anybody to a pulp yet. Yet. <laughs> I like how you say that. Yet. Did make somebody pause and with a good comeback too. It's like have the little sarcastic point. Because I'm selling soul. I'm selling appointments for solar and it's like Oh uh, no, we like burn. We only like burning fossil fuel. We only like burning things like fossil fuel. It's like, well, you know, you have this big burning ball in the sky you can steal energy from. How's that? He paused for a minute and went, "Good comeback." <laughs> so I had my fun. <laughs> Sovereign class and ultra wide screen, ultra wide screen, ultra wide screen. With my coffee. I had an idea for a point redeem. Yeah. Don't know what the amount will be, but I wear the, I broadcast, I talk out of the Zephyr mask for five minutes. The Zephyr mask? Yeah, you know, the, Ze the Razor Zephyr. Oh! Zephyr, not Zephyrum. I said Zephyr, yeah. I sound like Zephyrum. I'm thinking maybe my brain's just going Zephyrum, like Cochrane. Perhaps you do not understand. I do not Perhaps. understand. Okay. Huh. All right, I'm ready, I think. Okay, we got us a full team here. I'm going to go ahead and queue us up for a little Operation Pasta. I haven't changed the look of the ship yet, but I can That's do okay. that later. It'll still work the same way. Here we go. Yep. It's still, Everybody it got still a work. assemble task force? Yeah. Um, 
Okay, a green. I got a green. Thing did pop and up. green flashies. What Ed would call green alerts. Yep. Okay. So I just spoke briefly with Pi today, who's mm -hmm. kind of chillaxing, so he doesn't work himself sick. He put in some serious overtime this week. I see. I'm trying to find you up here in space uh, over space dock, but I don't see you. Um, where are you? I'm. Good question. I'm near the moon. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Are you outside space dock? Yes. Oh, no, I haven't gone up in space. I'm still standing down here by... Oh, okay. I'm actually in space. Weeble? Weeble accepted. DT, have you got a Weeble? DT? DT? I, I accepted. Did. Okay, That's I don't cool. know. I've learned to wait now. Okay, this thing only has four degrees of turn. Four degrees per second. Yeah. Yes. Second. So, like I said, it's you know make a full circle circle sometime in your life. The sad thing is, I mean, it's kind of small. It should turn faster than that. You would. Think. It has more to do with you know how it's designed. Um, generally, when you're looking at the ships that have got a really bad turn radius, you're looking at a ship that's probably a heavier build. And the other point is, you really don't know till you get to full speed. Because things change when you go faster. And that RCS that uh, you got, you it should be bound to account, but not bound to character, which means you can pick it up and move it over. Oh, okay. I haven't had a chance to fix the extra. Don't know if you'll be able to fix it in space, but... A little bit too late. <laughs> I just need to grab... It's uh... too late now. There's just one thing I need to grab out of here. Yeah, you got 32 yeah. seconds. No worries. Hey, DT, I will be heading off to Chicago tomorrow afternoon, and well, I'm going to take a headset with, I think. Mm -hmm. I am not... Uh, probably going to be streaming until I get home on Sunday. All right. Yeah, I might go on Thursday because I got Thursday off. Yeah, I'm going to have a house full of people and cooking and stuff like that. How do you? So I'm in my little Andorian ship now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't have much time. Drop the facility shield. I just got to figure out how to activate the wing cannons. Next one. Okay, I'll go ahead and pick up the away team. I figured you would. For a little shit, this thing is really powerful. Oh, okay. I've never played with an Andorian ship. Ooh, everybody left me to die. I'm on my way to help you from not dying. Too late. Oh, sorry. I was cleaning up and uh, forgot how to turn the ship. I have those moments. Actually, I need to run one Iconian mission yet tonight. We can do that. Okay. On my other account, though. I think. Usually that might not be true. It might be on this account. But I've been running it on... Oh, I have been running it on a uh, Federation tune. Hey, DT, you know you've got damage, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll fix it. Alrighty. Just double checking. Another away team. 
last away team here. Yeah, there's a fed symbol on there. I think we got it. Now we gotta go get this one. On my way, right behind you. Feels kind of right to fly the fly the sovereign with that whole first contact reference today. <laughs> All right, who's doing missiles? Um, I was, still I was not sure about... the thing's fast enough. Okay, I'll come down I here with you, DT. But if uh, anybody else drop, drops down here, I'll get out yeah. of the way. If anybody else drops down, I'll drop back up. Mm -hmm. This is not the best ship for it. Yeah. No, it is a good ship. It's got the firepower. Yeah. Intercept enemy missiles before they reach our transports. Transport Alpha One towards missile lock on. Thank you. All ships eliminate the standing troop transport. Two missiles destroyed. Two transport beta transport one. Beta one. <laughs> No, I said two launch, but I'm not seeing them. I blew one up. Okay. I'm too low then. So am I. There she is. Gamma one is being targeted by two more missiles. Uh, so the big cruiser is doing all this work here. Oh crap, I was defeated. No worries. This isn't uh, EVE Online. You can resurrect. Yeah, I know. I got three seconds. You know, I am going to say it. Do you like playing this in ultra wide? guys doing up there shooting things I know
Well, they lost a transport. I'm sure they'll find it if they go hunting through their room. Maybe it's in their sock drawer. Maybe. Or maybe they threw it out and blew it up. You never know. This is true. This is true. Can we get them all? There's. Uh, Usually it. tells us. Wow, that one launched high. Can't get around for that last one. Okay, I can't. There she is. Got it. Got it. One more. Transport Beta Three reports missile lock on. Okay. Nice. Cicada reports that combat ready. Combat ready. The Shinano has been disabled. The Moran is taking everyone's damage. There we think fix all that. We're reading Klingon to start. Ouch. <laughs> ouchy, ouchy. Did you blow up again? Yeah. Yes. I don't think I should have brought this ship. This is only a tier 5 ship. Oh, nope, that's fine. I took tier, a tier 5 tier up five. here. Tier 5's okay. Tier 5's are good. My Gorny only flies a tier a T5U. This isn't a T5U even yet. First one in. Yay! Mm -hmm. And I'm on my way back with the second one. Excellent. I saw my rail of third already, so. I shall stay here and play pew pew. Another one. Another one bites All the right. dust. On my way back to get another.
on transport has been secured. Klingon transport has been secured. Klingon transport has been secured. Klingon transport is a ramp. This is not attractive. Good. Tell it back. Klingon transport has been secured. Klingon transport has been secured. Transport has been secured. Reading a new inbound contact. It's a dreadnought. A dreadnought. Oh boy. <laughs> it's just a car. This is where we need Mar Hawkman. <laughs> this is a car. Son of a kid. All vessels. Disable that dreadnought. We need to block. Oh. Poor a car. Poor a car. <laughs> he got screwed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, baby. This may not be my strongest uh, ship, but it is a good ship. Which ship is it? Uh, this is just a. I kind of cannon built a oh. sovereign, so she's got agony phasers. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm running agony phasers. They look cannon enough, they do damage. Uh, the wide angle quantum. Prolonged engagement photon on the rear. Yeah, the trilithium omni. Okay. That's a... well. It sounds like fun. It is. It's kind of a side firing beast. DPRM, bio neuro infusion, reinforced armaments for a two piece, temporal trajectory shifter, and if I really want a quantum barrage, I got the tri cobalt tear generator to fake it. Fake it till you make it? Yeah, exactly. All right. Domino, nice. and then if I really want a big phaser blast, I got the phaser lance on here. Nice. Hey, I'm going to jump off of this tune, and I'm going to go grab my other tune, who's got two of my three Iconian events done. But I need to do a third Iconian. I need, let's see, what are my options here? Obviously, Bug Hunt. Um, Brotherhood of the Sword. Yeah, we have Gateway to Grethor, and we have Herald Sphere. Yep. And you gotta kill some Terrans. You gotta kill some Gorn on Nimbus. A lot of Gorn on Nimbus, but... How many Terrans do you have to kill? Terran ships, ten. Oh, Terran ships. Yeah, don't have yeah. a lot of solutions. I was thinking those. Terran Terrans. No. Well, would you be up for joining me for a uh, bug hunt? Sure. Can I grab a couple slices of pizza first? Hey, absolutely, you can. Yeah. I shall go do that. I will be right back. Okie dokie. If anybody else would like to join us for a little bug hunt, Federation style, you can set up a nice little team here and run this one. What level is that? Um, let's see. We'll try advanced. Again, level 50 or higher for advanced. And it's a ground mission. 
so you need to have a decent pew pew. And aside from that, um, decent ground gear, but you don't have to be fabulous. there's another ship I wanted to try out that I haven't tried yet. Okay, well, if we get this one done, ground, or sorry, bug hunt isn't very long, but if you want to set that up while we run bug hunt, then we can take you out for a patrol with that ship if you want. Yeah, no, I think I'm, I'm going to switch characters. Okay. Yeah, this is my last endeavor that I need to get done, and I think I may wrap it after that and go grab some Zs since tomorrow will be another long day. And I didn't get home from sleep. class until... Sleep, sleep you know is what? for the week, you know Th that. This seems like a good one. I haven't used this one in a while. It's a level 60. Okay. Yeah, I did class last <laughs> night, DT. So it was one of those, leave class at 7, get a coffee, nurse the coffee for an hour, got me all the way to the front door, got my keys in, and boom! done which is perfect so in theory this coffee should keep me awake for just enough time to finish folding my laundry and finish packing for the week i forget what she was flying well we'll find out once i hit space there we go oh right she was flying this thing yeah <laughs> well yeah obviously temporal no. dreadnought cruiser nice Mm. DT, who am I inviting for a little bug hunt? Jason? Yeah. Would you like to join us for a little bug hunt? Or do you want to work on setting up your tune? Well, let's see. What do I have for ground weapons? I've got a Mark 13 anti proton assault. That's defense fine. Beam. What have you got for other stuff? Uh, Chronoton Split Theme Rifle Mark 12. Okay, no, I mean, uh, what have you got for your kit modules? Uh, kit, let's see. I've got a Stealth Operational Armor Mark 13. Okay, but what about your kit modules? That's not, that's not a kit module. Oh, wait, that's up there, sorry. Right. Uh, Mark 12 Gravimetric Traps. Okay. Crystalline Spike and Electro -grav uh, Gravitic Field Mark 13. That's all I got so far. Okay. I haven't gotten any more kit modules. Well, throw those on and we can give it a try. Okay. Oh, excuse my yawning. The day is catching up to me. Whoops. I think that was someone inviting me to a clan. I did not mean to click that. I can immediately leave. Mm -hmm. United Federation of the Planets. Oh, that's a fairly big one. Oh, wait, sorry. That's I'm looking at the Admiralty. Why am I looking at Admiralty? I don't know. Admiralty is awesome. You can get lots of leveling through that. If I was smart, I'd be leveling my tune through that, but I'm not being smart. Oh, Dark Eternals is what this one's in. Mm -hmm. How do I leave? Okay, if you go to the lower right-hand corner of your mini-map, um, the yeah, little... Yeah, I clicked on it. Okay. It's Dark Eternals. Okay, go to where it says Roster. Roster. Go to the bottom, right-hand corner, it says Leave Fleet. There we go. Well, I just gained a level because I had a bunch of Admiralty. Excellent. <laughs> so 
So I guess that's one way to do it. It is definitely one way to do it. Oh, if definitely. You're lucky, if you're lucky, you can do like 60 to 65 in like yeah. When we do in like three hours or something like that. Well, I have so many unopened boxes of loot from the various um, endeavors, DT. That now that my tunes reached level 60, she can start opening them to get to 65 and you know getting stuff out of them. All right. Let me get this going here, because I'm going to go to bed right after this, I think. Renegade, I am inviting you. Yep. I got my sax cannon. Isn't that a shax cannon? I'm eating pizza, don't bother. <laughs> All right, I'm going to queue us for bug hunt. Just remember to tell the paw race that Shaq sent you straight from Bajor. Oops, I'm not getting a flashy green light. Neither am I. Okay, let's try that again then. Weeboo? Weeboo. Okay. I accept it. If for some reason popped up underneath my thing. Probably. Oh yeah, it loves to do that. Welcome to Pariah 3. How do I look? <laughs> Come on over here and let me see you. You look fine. Actually, I actually have that outfit on one of my tunes. Looks good yeah, on her too. not a bad outfit. No. Yeah. <laughs> I love this weapon. I forget how to... There we go. It looked kind of like an exterminator or paranormal investigator and disposal. How do I take the weapon out? H. H. There we go. Much better. H for holster. There oh, we feet. go. I there love that weapons. one. Right there. What that is that? Awesome. This one? Yeah. That is the... Um, uh, I don't the... speak fluid egg. The, the anti-proton assault defense ah, beam. Looks nice. Yeah. I love. I just love how the beam looks on it. Looks like I'm shooting electricity. Oh yeah, it's like the zappy suit where you actually are shooting electricity. But no, that's a cool looking weapon. Let's try my other weapon, though. The other weapon doesn't look half bad, either. No. Fire in the but there's something about that bigger weapon that looks great. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, this one definitely does a little bit more damage. Or not. <coughs> I 
switch back to my Lucari piezoelectric wrist device. Wrist I'm apparatus, sure excuse me. It's so, much, it's so much fun. How do you like my dark patches? <laughs> I always thought that was funny. I just summon a bunch of dark patches. Fire in the hole. Area clear. Scan show that we need to jump down this narrow fissure in the rock. Be careful. Be careful. I don't know what's waiting for us at the bottom. Bugs. Why is it always bugs? I know, right? Because there wouldn't be bug coming from bugs. I was supposed to be my best Indiana Jones, DD. Why do I have to be snakes? Oops. Wrong button. Oh god. Okay. Down. Somebody decided to blow something up last time I did this, right at the uh, bridge, before it goes into the spawn mother, and I fell off the side of the platform again. So annoying. Did you have your red angel suit on? No, thank God I did not. Do some lightning now. Whoops. Hey, when I accidentally do that. I accidentally hit need instead of greed. Eh. Everybody hits, everybody hits need on these things, so yep. don't worry about it. I always thought, I was always thought not to hit need if you don't actually need it. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking well, I mean, at it like I need the energy credits. So. Yeah, that was my attitude towards it. I'm not being greedy and saying I want it when I don't really need it. Because I always hit greed. Yeah, but you'll never get anything because everybody else in the ET. There's always going to be at least one person the TFO is going to who is going to need on everything. You yeah, honestly could just do need and pass and then raffle it on all the needs. You really could. Besides, so there aren't that many drops. Compared to, let's say, um, a wanted Argala. Yeah. I want Argala looks like Christmas afterwards. I know. It was so pretty. I decided to get Christmas lights that would go with it. This is it. The center of the hot. So much for her. <laughs> you miss with the god, you get the lightning. And just a little bit more loot tonight.
All right, but I am absolutely beat. I'm going to go to bed, folks. DT, do you want to take over? Or do you no. need to do some relaxing after a long day at the office? I need to do some relaxing after a long day. I don't blame you. It's all right. I mean, it was nice finding you guys for a little well, while. It was good. Well, we've been on for just shy of three hours. so Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just... There's a pretty good amount of little time there. Yeah. And it was great to play with you, too. Um, like I said, I won't be on again before Sunday and probably not until Monday, except for tomorrow morning with Ed. So I'm going to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Take care of yourselves. Please be safe. I know there's crazy people out on the road, so just take care of yourself. Enjoy your turkey. Enjoy your turkey. We can discuss turkey recipes when I get back. So, DT, I'm going to say good night. I will probably will chat with you, if not in person, at least on Skype. But have a great Thanksgiving. You too, Nelva. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Everybody out there, take care. So long. Should we go raid somebody, DT? Probably should. I don't even know. Let's see. Let me see. Big who's Papa out there. Tart's online. Ooh. On Pop Warrior. We haven't raided Big Papa Tart. We have time. not raided Big Papa for a while. Do you want to set her up? Give me a moment. Sure. Absolutely. Otherwise, I can. All right, we're going to go raid Big Papa. Everyone have a great night, and we will talk to you later. I'll try to be on right. Thursday, but no promises, folks. <laughs> I'll be in turkey coma. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got ham this year, so I no turkey coma. You but set... you're only doing two people. It's like yeah, it's gonna... a little different. Yeah. Hit him, DT. Good night, everybody.